What's up, everyone? It's me, CN Skyma, and welcome to CN Figures, Figures in Your House. And for this tour review, we're gonna look at the Marvel Legends. Well, not really the Marvel Legends, but the movie figure Abomination from the Incredible Hulk movie that came out in 2008. And I really love this figure. I love the paint apps, the sculpting, and the detail. And this movie was released when I was about to enter in 8th grade in that time. And those were good old times I always will remember. And my cousin Edu, the one who gave me the Marvel Legend Black Bolt on my birthday, he used to have this figure as well. Because my cousin he used to have a lot of cool Marvel Legend figures when he was a little kid. And, that was, and those were awesome. <laughs> and this abomination is... Awesome. It's way better than that Marvel Legends, the Bill of Figure from the one came out in 2016. That Bill of Figure is trash. I don't like it. I like this guy and the Abomination from the Diamond Select version. And I hope that Diamond Select makes a Diamond Select figure of this Abomination version. That would be cool. Ah. And how come they did not did a wave of this guy when the when the movie was out, but they didn't. But still, this figure is cool, and I really like it. All right, so with any accessories around, let's begin the review. The detail it looks disgusting, but I like it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is its head sculpt. You can see they added a lot of wrinkles around his face. And little tiny holes around and you can see his teeth right there all sculpted very good and there's his eyes and I can't tell all the color of the eyes I think they're brown or black I cannot tell and look at the ears it looks like he never had like he never had any ears there's holes in each side of the head and I do love this disgusting part of his chest I do love the paint, the detail, the sculpting, all disgusting, sick, and I like it. And it looks like he has some bones coming out here. But this version of Abomination is the best. I don't know why they did not do a way of this guy. And I'll bet that he'll be much taller and much better looking around, I think... Uh, seven inch and a half or eight inch. I don't know why they didn't do that. That would be awesome. Uh, but I hope that Diamond Celeste makes a, a figure of this version of Abomination. That would be cool. Just all that sculpting. And I believe that this is blood that he has, but I know that it's not blood. This is just his skin. But I do love this color. They use it on his skin and look at those big huge toenails very big and more wrinkles on his foot and more sculpting more little tiny holes around it and you can see his nails on his fist and more bones on his fingers awesome they did a lot of hard work making this figure Oh yeah, and each elbow, there's a little detail here, a bone, and each one, and also here, I do love this detail, it's awesome, I do love the white color and the sculpt, and look at the spine, all sculpted, very nice, and they added some little bit of red paint, just like his knees and his chest, attached to it, and more sculpting around his back. And more sculpting here on the arms. They, it has a lot of good sculpt. And I do love that red paint they use on his body. Look at all of that. It's really awesome. Oh yeah. There's veins on his shoulder. And also on this one. Tiny little veins around. Holy crag. This figure is amazing. I don't know why they did not do a way of this guy. That would be, that would be much cooler, but they didn't. But I still love this figure. Okay, so now let's talk about his articulation. 
Alright, so he doesn't look up or down, just straight, but you can still move his head side to side, rotation. Oh yeah, there's more scorpion around his neck. I did not saw that when I moved the head. He has some bicep swivel. Rotation. He can open his arms this much. Rotation. And this piece of the arm. And bend it a little bit, but no double jointed. Swivel and a little bit bivet and some swivel around the waist. You can kick this much from the front, but not in the back. He can open his legs this much. Look at all that sculpting! I love it. He can bend his knees a little. He has some swivel on the bottom, the knees, and some ankle articulation, and I really like it. And also that in 2008, the first adventure movie that came out was Iron Man, and from Iron Man was the Hulk. And the one I enjoy a lot is the Incredible Hulk. Ah, I really love this toy, and I'm so glad that I found them, and I... That yard sale. I had this toy in like two, no, not two years ago, a year ago, around 2018. That I just saw this guy right there in that yard sale and I just bought him. And I was so lucky to get him. Alright, so now let's do some comparing size. Alright, so Abomination, it stands around just exactly six and a half inches tall height. So it's almost around a seven inch tall figure. There he is with my Marvel Legends Ant-Man, and you can see that Abomination is taller than Ant-Man. And here he is with my Diamond Sled, King of Hearts figure Roxas, and still Abomination is taller than Roxas. And there he is with my Fairy Mars Sled, Thanos. Boy, this figure was fun to review. And I was shocked that Iron Man popped out in the ending of the Incredible Hulk movie, and also it was so funny that Bruce Banner that he jumped from the helicopter to transform to, to Hulk, but he didn't he just end up crashing and I just cracked up. I love the Incredible Hulk, but the, the movie that I always love from the Hulk is the first one that I saw, I think it came out in 2004 or 2003, can't remember, it's the one who was fighting with Absorbing Man, well his father. So I can't remember what year that movie came out, but I like that one the most. So. This is pretty much it for today guys, so thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this review, if you did, leave a like, share this, this video if you want to, but don't leave any offensive comments or saying bad words, if you do that, your comment will be removed from this video, and subscribe to the channel if, if you want to see more of my toy reviews, more of my toy hunts, more of my unboxing videos when I get packages from Big Bad Toy Store and Walmart, and please follow me on my Facebook page, CM Figures, follow me on Twitter, and follow me on Instagram. And I'll catch you guys next time. This is CM Skyima and Abomination, and we are out in line. Take care, be safe, keep on hunting, and keep on collecting.